Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today you guys are here because you want to learn how to install shaders for modded Minecraft. So, if you want to install shaders for your modded Minecraft or any Minecraft in general, because uh, this will work for anything, what you want to do is you want to navigate to Optifine, uh, Optifine's website, and it's optifine.net and then slash or forward slash downloads or you can just navigate there to the top of their bar and you'll get to this page right here uh, on the front page now uh, with a setting here you can see that minecraft 1.12.2 that is the versions that you want to download if you're playing modded uh, minecraft that is under version 1.12.2 this applies to anything also that is under the page if you're playing Minecraft that is 1.10.2, uh, you can see the downloads are right here. Uh, I don't think 1.7.10, I don't think those actually work. Um, I think I remember 1.7.10 had some issues with Optifine being uh, compatible with modded uh, with, with several mods. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. But as you can see here, Optifine right there, the very top download, Optifine uh, 1.12.2 HDU E2. Usually you want to stick with the most updated version. So usually the one that's highlighted at the very top is the one that you want to go with because um, that will be the most stable version. Now what you want to do is you want to click download or you can click minor. Um, if you click download, you know, it'll, it'll do the same thing as clicking minor. Um, but you, what you want to do is just download that. It'll be a jar, a dot jar. And usually if you're in a browser, it'll say, are you sure you want to accept this because it may cause potential harm to your computer? Just go ahead and accept it because it's just a jar. It does that with every jar file you download um, with Chrome anyways. I don't know how it works on Firefox or any other op or any other uh, web browser, but I know how it works on Chrome and it will give you that, uh, that mark. Just go ahead and accept it and take it. All right, so once you get that file downloaded, let me go ahead and show you. I'll go ahead and download the top one here. It's just gonna give some ads and then you just have to go through and complete the lovely ads that pop up. Um, and if you had ad blocker, this might actually work as well. I don't know. Watch this and not be correct. So whenever it loads up, you'll just click skip ad over here and it'll take you to their actual downloads page. Um, and this should be what it looks like. And all you gotta do is click this. It will download the jar. Like I said, it will say, uh, do you want to keep it because it can cause potential harm and we'll keep it so just a little free promotional here uh, Right here is my pack. It's a it's the fresh download. It hasn't had anything installed onto it So this is a fresh version of bounds, which is uh, my mod pack So if you guys wouldn't mind checking that out It is a pretty decent mod pack for 1.12 and I do have a series on it that I have been playing that does have shaders on it So if you guys are here from that awesome if you guys are here from SevTech, awesome uh, so Let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do this. So if you're using the Twitch launcher and you have your Minecraft mods downloaded, uh, you're gonna navigate to the folder. So you can right click on the on the uh, actual project itself and go to open folder, or you can right click on it from the front page and go to open folder. We're gonna do that right now. So here is the open folder for this. Uh, let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger for you guys. So here's the open folder. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna open another folder and go to our downloads. Let me just go to my downloads real quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to just throw this. I'm going to throw the Optifine over here. So here's that Optifine we just downloaded. It was in my downloads folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to just take this and literally drop it into our mods folder. It just needs to set inside the mods folder. And you can go Optifine and it's right there. Now you will not find this mod on the curse launcher or anything. This is a third party mod. Um, and this also works in vanilla as well. This is also an executable. So if you wanted to actually click on Optifine, you can see it does open up a installer. You do not want to do that with modded Minecraft. You literally just want to throw the jar inside the mods folder. Pretty simple. You throw it in there. It's good to go. That's all you have to do. Um, so we're going to exit out of here and literally all we have to do is load up this pack. And uh, technically, this pack is going to have shaders installed onto it. But we still have to download the shader packs themselves. So we now have the mod pack loaded. And I do want to take you through a few things. If you have Optifine installed, it will show it down here inside the info panel. It'll show you that Optifine and what version is installed. And it'll kind of go along with all the Forge stuff as well. 
But what you want to do is you want to go navigate to options, whether it be here or anywhere on your screen, there should be an options button. You're going to take this and you're going to go into video settings. So this is where shaders resides. And at this point you have dynamic lighting and shaders. Now dy dynamic lighting is a part of uh, Optifine that when you hold a torch, it will light up the surrounding area. So if you want to turn this on, you can, it does go very well with shaders, but it also does work without shaders installed. So we'll click on the shaders button. And you can see right here, there, there's not any shaders currently inside this folder, but they do add a nice little downloads button. So if you click this downloads button, it's going to open up a web page and uh, it's going to take us to a shaders pack web page. Now, this is where this is going to become very important for you guys. If you have a NVIDIA, gra if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you need to use shaders that support the NVIDIA graphics card. If you have in Intel integrated graphics, you need to make sure you grab a shader that is that supports that. If you're on Mac, you need to make sure it supports Mac as well. And if you're on, um, I do believe this icon stands for um, advanced micro devices, so AMD. So yeah, they've changed the logo on me for the AMD. But if you have NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, or you're on Mac, you need to make sure you're choosing a shader that has that icon listed in it. Otherwise, it will most likely not work for you. Um, so if you want to install the shaders that I have currently been using, it is a NVIDIA um, shader. And I don't think it's even on this page. It's probably not going to be up right on here. Uh, but what you can do is you can actually search through the, you can you can sort through any of these links updated when they were last updated, what version they're on, the style. Uh, style is a pretty good one if you want fantasy or if you want realism. Uh, that's something that you can always search for. But what we can do is we can just download... Um, here, right here, this uh, vibrant one. So I'll just go ahead and download this. And all you gotta do is click the link. It does support pretty much everything. So this link will take you to their actual page. Most of the shader packs will link you to minecraftforum.net and which you'll see there's spoilers and there's all kinds of different versions that you wanna look for. Uh, you wanna download the one that is gonna best suit your computer. So where you see light, if you're running a, if you have a pretty weak computer, you want to make sure you go with a, a pretty weak shader. Otherwise, you're going to have severe crippling lag, or it may not even load for you. Very simple there. We'll just go with, uh, I'll just go with high for right now on this one. And there are different versions. You can see this is for 1.1.3. I actually clicked the wrong one. You want to make sure you click the one for the version of Minecraft that you're currently using. And so we'll just go with this one right here. So this is going to take us to another ad fly. I'm going to go ahead and get that downloaded. So with most of the new shaders, it'll take you to like a media fire site and you're just going to go ahead and download that. And so what you're going to be left with is you're going to be left with this file that is in a zip format. You're going to open back up Minecraft and you're going to open your shaders folder. Uh, and this is going to make a folder called shader packs in which you're going to go into your browser, close out all of these extra tabs. Now we're going to, take this and we're going to drag it into that folder and there we go now we have the shaders inside the shaders folder now we can close out of everything and go back into minecraft and you can see it is listed here now with most modded minecraft packs if you go to try and load this up it may potentially crash that is where something sometimes that may happen and uh, what i'm going to do right now i'm going to go ahead and click it i'm going to let it do its load thing if it crashes on you what you need to do is just restart and whenever you restart the pack this should be automatically loaded and if it doesn't i'm going to show you a way you can get it to load so let's just go ahead and i'm going to click this and i'll be right back so for this shader it didn't take actually that long for it to load which is good but if it does take long for you and does crash i'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second after we get the configuration down but most shaders they do have configuration options and those are listed over here and as you can see, there's a lot of effects that you can actually turn off or turn on depending on what you want. Um, and this also may help with performance. If you're having issues with performance, you can go in here and you can change some of your shader settings. Um, some shader settings that I can tell you will dramatically change the gameplay experience is motion blur. I usually turn this off at all costs because I just don't like the effect. And then lighting, anything that has to do with lighting, you're gonna wanna come in here and see what options you can mess around with and change that may give you better FPS if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking to just take some really nice screenshots, then this is not gonna be something that, that you're gonna worry about. 
But as you can see, there are tons of options. Bloom, all kinds of good stuff. I've never used these shaders, so I don't exactly know what they're gonna look like, but that is an option. And uh, what you can do is now actually have even more options and more control over your video settings because Optifine gives you a lot more video settings. Um, so with that being said, there we go. Shaders are now installed. We can go ahead and we should be able to load up into Minecraft. So very simple. Let's just create a, a new world, a survival world. Now this may lag for you guys because I am doing a uh, window capture, not actually game capture. So I'm just going to create a new world here and show you what these shaders look like. So as you can see, the shaders are installed and these actually don't look too bad. This is more of a cartoony style looking uh, type thing. The clouds are kind of cartoonish. Um, but yeah, this actually looks very good. And this is what you should expect from your shaders. And um, I'll have a link down in the description below to the shaders that I use in almost all my videos. Be fair warned though, they may not be compatible with your machine. They are NVIDIA shaders. So if you do not have a NVIDIA graphics card, because these are heavy, shaders are very heavy on your graphics card. I mean, right now my GPU is almost 100% running uh, at full throttle. So just be prepared and um, yeah, this is what shaders look like and this is how you install them. I am going to go over uh, how to actually install them if you do crash and I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. All right, so if your shaders are not loading for you on boot up after it has maybe crashed or something like that, I'm going to show you how exactly you can get this to start up without uh, needing to actually load it up into your game. You can actually load it up the first time if you want to. And what you need to do is you need to go to the root folder of your your installation of say either the mod pack or Minecraft in general, and you want to look for uh, like I said the main page. And then what you want to do is you want to create a text document that is titled Options with an S and then Shaders. I'll have this link down in the description. Uh, it'll just I'll just have text down there. It'll have everything you need for this. And then what you want to do is you want to open that up, or after you've created, you want to open it up. And you want to copy the stuff that I have in the description down below. You're going to want to copy all of this. And then whenever you get that copied, here's what you want to focus on. So right here where it says shaders pack, you're going to want to make sure you copy the exact directory that your shader is named. So right here we have uh, these two different things. Um, and you want to copy this name. So we copy that shader name. And then you're going to paste it here. And then you're going to add dot zip at the end. And then save. Underneath the shader pack. Because I'm going to leave this blank for you because that way you guys aren't loading some random shader that you may not have. Um, but by default, this should all be left alone like here. And all you're worrying about is the actual shader pack itself. So I just wanted to show you that um, that's a very simple way to do this. After you save that file and you have it saved in your root here, it should work for you. And uh, whenever you load the pack or load Minecraft back up, the shader will automatic automatically be loaded and you won't have to worry about it crashing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, guys, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, I highly recommend it. I post Minecraft videos every single day and I also stream on Twitch and uh, yeah, guys, uh, like I said, if you enjoyed it, I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.